So general form of quadratic polynomial is a x square plus b plus b x plus c is equal to zero. Okay, the quadratic equation. What are its roots? Roots are x is equal to minus b plus r minus and a root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Roots are zeros of quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. And this b square minus 4ac is known as a discriminant. Based on discriminant, we can describe the nature of zeros or roots of a polynomial, quadratic polynomial. If b square minus 4ac greater than 0, we can say roots are real numbers and unequal. Roots are real and unequal. And the second point, if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, we can say zeros are roots. Both are same. Right? Zeros are real. Real means real numbers and equal. That means uh, without finding roots, you can find or you can tell the nature of the zeros by observing b square minus 4ac value. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, Zeros are roots are complex numbers. Okay, or you can say roots are or zeros are imaginary. Or you can say the roots are zeros are non real. If b square minus 4ac greater than 0, roots are real numbers and unequal. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, roots are real and equal. b square minus 4ac less than 0, roots are complex or imaginary or not real. And uh, what is uh, nature of quadratic expression or equation means for ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero so if you divide by a on both sides you get x square plus b by ax plus c by a is zero x square plus b i am writing it as minus of minus b by ax plus c by a equal zero then you can remember this as x square minus x of this minus b by a gives sum of roots plus this c by a gives product of roots. Okay, so this is the general structure of a polynomial. x square minus x is sum of the roots plus product of the roots equal to 0. Okay, so by using this, you can say if alpha, comma, beta are zeros or roots of a quadratic expression or quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal 0, then sum of roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Minus b by a. And uh, this product of roots. C by A. Alpha beta is equal to C by A. That means without finding roots by observing given quadratic polynomial, you can tell sum of the roots as well as product of the roots. Okay, all these points we have discussed. Very basic and very important uh, points regarding quadratic polynomial. Just note it down once. 